He's been kicked off the team, kicked out of school, uh, basically banished from uh, the city. A former Duquesne University men's basketball player accused of raping a Pitt student in his dorm room faced a judge today. But his attorney says there is another story about what happened. KDKA legal editor Julie Grant joins us live now with more on that. Julie. Susan, good evening. The alleged victim started shaking as soon as this case was called, and she started crying almost immediately before she was even asked any questions about the alleged assault. On cross-examination, the defense attorney was asking her whether she resisted in any way, tried to run or fight him off. The prosecutor kept objecting, and the judge wouldn't allow many of those questions to be answered. 19-year-old Nick Washington of Puerto Rico came to court with his parents to face rape allegations stemming from September 1, 2017, when he and the alleged victim were partying together at Duquesne. Mr. Washington had consensual um, relations with this young lady, and that's our position from the start, that's our position today, and that's our position at trial. The alleged victim admits to drinking at the tower's dorm, leaving campus with Washington and other friends to go to a fraternity party, and then going back to Washington's dorm room to charge her cell phone. That's when she says the sexual assault occurred. Uh, we have some evidence to suggest that her phone was not in fact dead. Uh, we have some evidence to suggest that she had a phone charger with her. Uh, so th those were questions that I really wasn't allowed to explore today, but I look forward to exploring those uh, at a later time. The alleged victim admits she never yelled for help. When asked if she tried to fight him off or physically resist, the judge wouldn't allow those answers. I look forward to having Mr. Washington or present a defense on behalf of Mr. Washington at the trial level. Um, there's a lot of evidence that doesn't come in at a preliminary hearing, unfortunately, for the accused. So the accuser gets to um, say what she wants to say. As to the alleged rape, she said, quote, he kept forcing my legs down to the bed, and I kept telling him to stop. As to the alleged digital sexual assault, she said, quote, I told him it hurt and told him to stop. On cross, she admitted she was making out with Washington at the fraternity party. This is devastating to Mr. Washington and his family. Mr. Washington had a college career, a basketball career. He's a freshman, excited to be here in the city of Pittsburgh. The prosecutor was also making arguments during the defense attorney's cross-examination instead of listing a proper evidentiary reason for her objections. Nick Washington will have his preliminary hearing on March 22nd. In the meantime, he'll head back to Puerto Rico to stay with his parents. Reporting live outside of Pittsburgh Municipal Court, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.